right y'all here we go first goose hunt of the fall for me right now it's early goose early teal season in both minnesota and wisconsin not doing too much teal action but uh we should be uh, getting into some local groups of geese here hopefully we got about a two hour run got the old mercury just loaded up ripping and roaring we'll see uh we're camping out tonight maybe doing a little bit of scouting and it should be a good one stick with us let's get it camp right now see what these guys are up to okay we just got to the palace gonna check out the couple ponds and then we're gonna go check out this wheat field that cody said there's a uh, probably about 70 on right now to see if they're getting off of there to go get to their roost or if we're gonna be hunting here in the morning did you tell them just like on saturday yeah, or saturday another? and sunday is it possible they're still out there they're still out there right there there they go. They're getting off our field. Yes. Yee! Now are they going to land where we're camping? <laughs> Here we go home sweet home for the night. Not too shabby. I don't know. I don't get mad. Morning time. Time to head to the spot. How much time we got, Cody? How much time we, how much time we got? Yeah. Oh, about an hour and ten minutes for a shoot line. Alrighty. Five minute drive to the field. A lot better than two and a half hours. <laughs> All right, just bringing everything out. Got about two trips. Got to walk about 200 yards. All right. It doesn't hurt that. Perfect. We're gonna be just in time. Oh, not too bad. Jackpot. Yep. 48. 48 degrees this morning. We just got all set up, got all stubbled in. We got, if I can't see it, we got a bunch of cut hay that we put on our layup lines. We got three of us today. We'll see how we do. Get ready. I thought for sure they were just circling to come in. Yeah, this will open, I think, by Sunday, right? Ready? Rip them. Shit. I don't got any bullets. Don't move, man. Yeah. Rip them. Two, baby. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Glory, 
Load up. Safe. Hey. Let's go. Go, Jay. Come on. Get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Atta boy. Here we go. Here they go. Nice work, boys. <laughs> Beautiful. That's how you do it. That's, that was good. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, both of you guys shot. Oh, one of you did. No. Yep, big flock coming, big flock. They're gonna come right in front of us. Yeah. Rip them. Watch that one, watch that one. Pond. Did we just get one? I, I got one over there. They got one over there, but okay. look at all the feathers. I can't believe we didn't. Oh, there goes another one down. Yep. Oh, that was sweet, though. I think the goose laying out there. Well, yeah. I saw. I thought we had two. Well, what, For sure. One landed in the pond and one landed in the tree, so that's four. Oh, the, the far trees? Yeah, the yeah. far trees one landed in, and then one landed in this pond. Nice. So it's four. Well, I wasn't recording on the GoPro or the phone, but we just dropped four, two, uh, two sorters that we got to find. Or one's in the pond, and then one went pretty far, so we'll have to go look for him. But what do we got a total now of? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for sure. They go behind the trees? Yeah. Close, but no cigar. Zaid. And I always wonder. What do like, we do wrong? Is it too many decoys? Too many decoys. Too many um, decoys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Is it? You know what I mean? That's what grows in your head. Is it too many decoys? Not enough decoys. You know what I mean? It's just you don't know. Yeah. We were talking. We we're like, oh, dude, were we hammering on them too hard? But they were talkative, so we wanted to talk back. Was it too much coffee? Zay, now just wait. Where is he, Cody? Behind us. Well, okay. No. He's dead? Yeah. Oh, shit. Blasted yeah. him. Nice shot, Todd. Hell yeah. Nice shot. What was he doing? Was he, he was coming around. He might have landed, oh. but. I had that perfect shot. No, no, I did not know that. Get him, Zay. Dusted him. And it's banded. I wish it would've been my bird. Mm. That was dirty. Doing that same shit again. That was dirty. Here he comes. <laughs> Get him. That's how it's done, boy. <laughs> hey, right here, Zane. You got your safety on? Yeah. Good job, dude. That's how it's done, right here. Right here. That's how it's done. Dude, that, that's, how, that's how it should be right there. Another one bites the dust. Past two singles just came in dirty, and we just dust so 10, so we get five more. I mean, I'd call that a good morning. <laughs> Are we having fun? Zayd is speechless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the back up. Should we just do her? Yeah, I think we just do it. Yep. All right, it is 10 o'clock. We're going to call it for the day. All right, there we go. We got eight down for sure. 
We have actually nine down for sure, looking for number 10. Right? Yep. Not a bad morning. We saw a lot of geese. They didn't really, didn't exactly want to do it super well, but we got some shots off. Got some rounds for sure. And we got the old mule out. You're gonna carry all eight yourself? Well, I, was, I was getting there. We found our two soars. They were dead. Good thing we found them. <laughs> how, was the, how was the layout shooting? Good. Good. What you want them? Oh, that's good. There we go. That must have been my shot, huh, Cody? Right there. That's how you do it. Okay, so we ended up with 11 this morning. Now comes the fun time. All right, y'all, it's been a couple of days. We figured the first time eating waterfowl this season, got to do the poppers, always a, always a favorite. So what I got here is jalapenos cut in half with the guts taken out, the seeds and the veins. Bacon, I got my goose that I've been marinating. For the marinade, I used my normal olive oil, Dano seasoning, pepper, and then I mix that all together and really just let that sit for 24 hours. And then we just got some cream cheese, so we'll get these put together. And I'm actually going to be cooking them on the old George Foreman, because I heard that it works pretty good. So we're going to be doing that and giving it a shot, see how it goes. Take a little dollop of cream cheese. Put that in the popper, or in the jalapeno. Grab a nice piece of goose meat. Just like that. Take a piece of bacon. Wrap that around, and she's good to go. There we go, we got them all wrapped up. I'm gonna put the George Foreman on medium, see how it goes. I'll do it for like five minutes and then we'll check on it and see how it's going. All right, she's been five minutes. Looking pretty good, I'll probably go another five and then I'll check the internal. All right, there we go. Goose poppers. These things are huge. I will say, I don't know if I'm going to do the George Foreman again. Mine doesn't drain like others do. So I kind of those juices just sat there and the bottom didn't get as crispy. But going in for a piece. It's good. The meat's nice and tender. So I think I would keep my way of doing it on the pellet grill. Pellet grill on high. That really crisps things up a bit. Still good though. So we got more waterfall action coming as well as deer hunting obviously and then maybe some fall fishing as well. So thanks y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.